There is a place unique in the world where you can admire something extraordinary that takes you back almost 400 years to one of the most devastating eruptions of Etna. We are in Mister Bianco, a city located on the slopes of Etna, a few miles from Catania in Sicily. Mister Bianco was completely destroyed by the 1669 eruption. What does an ancient eruption have to do with a psychology channel? Well, this is the challenge to offer you a self-development experience at the end of this video. Can a place with uh, an extraordinary history encourage listening to what James Hillman called the soul of the places? Or can a place help us uh, discover our talents? Can the experience of that place uh, awaken the passion for Jung's individuation process? that work towards self-realization? To answer these questions, we must broaden the meaning of the word work. In the works of Jung, the word work is implicitly used in three ways. The work one does to make a living, what we commonly call a job. Then the work intended after basic needs such as food, accommodation, clothing, etc. have been met, in other words, career, and uh, finally, the work which Jung refers to more often, the work of individuation. A very complex concept, which we can define as the search for one's talent, which uh, leads to the evolution and expansion of consciousness. Take the analogy of the oak tree from a single acorn. The acorn represents us and uh, our potential while the oak tree represents the totality and the realization of it. I will spare you the merit of the individuation process, but I want to clarify that although individuation is the psychological process through which we distinguish ourselves from the community, developing our unique signature as individuals, it is also a process that uh, must lead to our integration into the community. Therefore, it is not individualism, but rather the opposite. Let's go back to the acorn metaphor. The acorn grows until reaching its maximum flowering, right? But the acorn must be able to grow in the soil in which it is planted. For these reasons, the meaning I will give to the word work is, of course, the activity we do to make a living, but also our true calling, our vocation. One of the fundamental problems of our time is that uh, we see our job only through an economic lens. Our job is uh, what we do to make money. This is a reductive and inhuman vision now, we cannot deny that uh, the economic vision is uh, an essential aspect of our job. There are practical needs in life that simply cannot be ignored. However, it is also important to remember that uh, work is not just a physical or economic issue. It is also a psychological and spiritual one. Earlier in this video, I mentioned the acorn metaphor and uh, it was not by chance. In fact, James Hillman, in his beautiful book, The Soul's Code, proposes to reinvent our lives through what uh, he calls the acorn theory. Just as the acorn contains the oak tree that uh, it will become, so we also contain the innate image of our talent, our destiny, our unique vocation. So, any conception of work that uh, does not recognize these psychological depths is bound to be sterile and ultimately dehumanizing. If we take international studies which show that only 13% of people worldwide are engaged at work, we can understand how crucial it is to somehow reinvent the meaning of the term work. Certainly, our job seen as a vocation, as a call from our diamond, as Hillman would say, becomes uh, an enriching and meaningful experience of self-realization 
aligning us to our destiny. What then is the diamond? The idea that we all possess a true calling, a destiny unique to us alone, has uh, ancient origins. For example, Plato talked about uh, vocation and uh, Heraclitus, prior to Plato, stated that a man's diamond is uh, his fate. In more recent times, Hillman used the, the diamond to account for the urge we all feel to discover and align our life with a true calling unique to our individuality. Our primary purpose in life, according to this idea, is to follow this calling and fulfill our potential. So the diamond is that force existing in everyone whose function is to help us find our true calling and provide us with the motivation to follow it. But how difficult is it to listen to our diamond? Because uh, according to Hillman, it means uh, being on the side of uh, dreams, shadows, ancestors, the invisible sides of things. Are we capable of doing this today? For example, even a holiday or a trip can become uh, an opportunity to cultivate the ability to be surprised to observe, to listen to, to reflect on our vocation and to try to discover our diamond or get carried away for a moment by the soul of the place we are visiting. This makes us put aside for a moment the economic aspect of our job to open up to its psychological aspect. Perhaps that happened to me on the last trip to Sicily and uh, who knows, this video might represent my search for my diamond. For these reasons, I want to tell you the extraordinary story of the great eruption of Etna in 1669 and the ancient church of Mr. Bianco redeemed from the lava. But that is uh, the story of the second part of this video. Until next time. Ciao!